Welcome back to Briggs on Books, a truly international talk show uh, with authors, publishers, editors, people in the business that help you get across the finish line with your book. Um, our first guest does just that, gives you kind of some of the ending uh, uh, help you need to get past maybe a little editing and stuff like that. Our guest is uh, Roberta Thorndike. Welcome, Roberta. Where are you located right now? Well, at the moment, I am located in the Sierra Foothills, but I, I live in the Bay Area. Bay Area. Where where uh, where in the Sierra Foothills? I mean, you don't have to tell us your exact location. but Just outside of Jackson. Oh, okay. Just, beautiful. What a beautiful area. North of Jackson. I see yeah. the background, and hopefully we're going to hear some birds chirping or something, <laughs> or a bear growling or something. Who knows? Uh, not not during the day. At night, they, he comes through, though. He does come through. Oh, my God. You know he's been there. Um, yeah. Roberta, uh, there's almost 7 million authors out on Instagram, for example, and there's almost 10 times that many who are writing and writing and writing and trying to get to the end of their, of their journey. Is that something you could help people with? Absolutely. Absolutely. I know that, um, especially for first time authors, it can be a really scary thing to put their book baby in the hands of an editor. Yeah. Uh, so many first time authors, especially, are afraid that an editor is just going to butcher their manuscript. Or laugh and, at you or laugh at you or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. And, um, you know, that's just that's just not the case. You know, we are here to help elevate their writing, help to polish it, make it error free so that um, their readers are not distracted by you know, errors that they may have missed. Yeah. Because when an, a, a, an author is writing their book, they read it so many times yeah. and go through it so many times that the brain does a funny thing. It it doesn't read what's actually on the page. It reads what you meant to write, but that may not be what's on the page. And that's it's, what we're here for. <laughs> sometimes it's one of those can't see the forest for the trees kind of thing. For sure. <laughs> um, now I read, you know, I just uh, read all the time. And I see in these big, big publishers, I catch errors all the time. So yeah. it happens. But, it does. Uh, yeah. Now, what about the people who are trying to finish? They just can't put the pin down and say, I'm done. Can you help them? Is that something you could come in and say, hey, let's get this thing finished? Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I know that that is something that um, authors struggle with is saying, okay, this is it now. This is it. Um, and I don't know that that anybody can do that for them. That's got to be something yeah. that they feel like, okay, now this is the finished product and, or that I'm done with this stage of it, this rough draft or yeah. whatever. And then, you know, there are several levels of editing um, available to authors, you know, depending on what they want to invest in. You know, you've got developmental editing and manuscript evaluation. You've got line editing. You've got copy editing. And then the final stage would be proofreading. And that's a really, really important right. stage because, as you said yourself, you know, even these big publishers and well-published authors – um, you, you I, in fact, I was just reading one this last week when I was camping and I was like, well, hmm, <laughs> there's a, there's a mistake there. And, and this is an author who's published many, many, many books. So it happens. And that proofreading just really helps to polish it up and make it the gem of a book that the um, author has intended it to be. Yeah, my, my biggest published work is a piece of music. Uh, I did an arrangement for classical guitar and a Bach piece. And there's one wrong note in that printed thing. It's been out there for 20 years, and people come up to me all the time and say, you know, there's a mistake in your work there. So um, mm -hmm. once it's printed, it's with you forever, right? Well, unless you make a revision and, yeah. you know, a second edition. But, yeah, and we're human, you know, that we all make mistakes. But, you know, that brings me to another point is that a lot of um, writers and authors depend on the technology such as yeah. Grammarly or yeah. uh, pro, uh, Perfected or, or even just their editing program on their um, word processing. And there is just no substitute for the human eye yeah. to take a look at that and put it in context because some words are spelled correctly, but they're still the wrong word. The wrong word, yeah. <laughs> By the way, just as we're talking, I'm going to just pop up some of the covers of books of people you helped. How many uh, people have you helped that actually got published? Oh, 
I, I, I haven't counted. I, I really, I've lost count. <laughs> um, but many, many, this is just a sampling of um, some of the works that are available on Amazon um, in particular. And um, I've also, I, you know, we've, I've worked with um, writers from all over the world as well. Mm. And that's really kind of fun um, to help foreign authors who want to um, have their their book published in um, you know American English, but there are so many little nuances in language that um, you know that that can make a, a big difference when you're an international author. Yeah, it's truly the crazy language. This yes, <laughs> American English. Yeah. Now. Um, you help people. Uh, people, first of all, I have your website up. Uh, what are people going to find on that website? Well, you'll find a little snippet about me and my life, um, and then you'll also find a um, a listing of the different levels of services that mm -hmm. I provide. Um, I provide line editing, copy editing, and proofreading, and some of those things can be bundled together quite nicely. Um, especially copy editing and proofreading. That is often something that goes hand in hand. Um, and I, um, I do um, like a social media package, a little flat rate for people who have blog posts or um, are doing social media um, posts, or I, I can do a flat rate for um, that so that, you know, it, they know how much they're going to spend every month on having me help them with their yeah. posts. That'd be, that'd be great. Yeah, I just, uh, I can't think of a more important thing that people should do, and that's why I'm glad to have you on the show. By the way, we, I tell my producers, go out on Instagram and find the most interesting people that you can, and they found your Instagram, and it drew them right in, and they said, we got to get this person on the show, so I'm glad oh, you did. Oh, thank you. So, and, thank uh, you. All right, so first step number one, people watching today, maybe they should go to your website. Yes, www.joyful-one-editing.com. Yeah, and we have it on the screen, and we'll put it, we're going to put this video, it's important, we're going to put it on YouTube, we're going to put it on Twitter, we're going to put it on uh, Instagram, because people need to see this. Uh, Roberta, I think that it is very important, and you make the good point. Um, any last thoughts for our viewers? Um, my thoughts for your um, unpublished authors is don't be afraid. Reach out to an editor yeah. and let them help you. We are not here to uh, criticize or butcher your work. We're here to collaborate with you to help make your book baby everything you dream it to be. And uh, when you're picking an editor, pick someone like Roberta Thorndike, who's done dozens and dozens and dozens of these things, which have gone through and got published and they're doing well out there. They're on yeah. Amazon. So that experience is so important. And, uh, um, yeah. you know, if uh, most of us aren't English majors or didn't go through the strict training that they put you through, we're just thinking off the top of our head and putting words on the page, which is very important. But then yeah. let somebody like Roberta Thorndike come in and, and help you Thanks. through to the end. <laughs> Thank you. I, I tell a friend of mine um, that the writers, they have the message. The editors, we've got the mechanics. The mechanics. There you go. Uh, thank you, Roberta. Well, we want you on again and again because this is such an important uh, right. subject and approach, and you take a wonderful approach. You're, you're very approachable, in fact, is what I, I meant to say. And we will be back with more uh, Breaks on Books right after this. Right. Thank you so much. My pleasure.